Assalamu alaikum dear viewers today we will be discussing about the classification of parasites that is only meant for the medical and veterinary uh, undergraduates and post graduates students that are pursuing their degree and i am your host professor dr madhur ayaz professor parasitology cholistan university of veterinary animal sciences bahawalpur pakistan in the name of allah the most beneficent and most merciful our topic for uh, discussion is the classification of the parasites dear viewers as you know the parasites are the livings that live on the expenses of other organisms so they don't contribute they only live on the expenses or on the feed of other uh, hosts so there is an in interaction between host and parasite host that donates blood or their tissues to the parasites and on that expenses the parasites live and there are, there is a triangle between host parasites and the parasitism so there are various classification of the parasites that we are discussing ahead dear viewers the parasites can be classified into three groups one is the protozoa as you know they are unicellular and other are the helminths and as uh, they are Uh, multicellulars and the last one is the arthropods under the protozoa the protozoa can be present inside the intestines and the urogenital system in the blood and tissues of the bodies while these helminths they can be present in the form of cestodes as they are known as tapeworms then trematodes as they are known as flukes and nematodes as they are known, known as Uh, the roundworms these are all uh, under the helminths as you know the arthropods they are insects and arachnoids and they come under the uh, headings of uh, arthropods dear viewers and students as you know the parasites as they are composed of the protozoa and metazoans the under the protozoa they are called uh, there are four classes the one is the sarcodina under that comes the ameba and then is the sporozoa the, uh, under that comes the sporozoites uh, and other related parasites then is the mastigophora where there are the parasites that are placed and they have the flagellates and the last one is the ciliata where the parasites do have the cilia and for their movements and under the metazoan helminths there is a nematode elements they are round worms and platy helminths they are flat worms where there is trematodes or flukes and cestodes are tape worms as you know under the protozoa these are unicellular or single cell uh, organisms and they are known or classified sometimes according to their functions as amoeba they move uh, they move by pseudopodia and the flagellates they move by flagella and ciliates they move by cilia and similarly the epicomplexa or sporozoa uh, they have sometimes gliding movements inside the tissues uh, and they look like uh, sometimes gliding uh, unicellulars and similarly the helminths they are multicellulars or metazoans and under that category comes the round worms or nematodes they are cylindricals unsegmented tube like structures and similarly the flat worms uh, under the flat worms there are two types there are trematodes they are leaf like structures or leaf like parasites and mostly they are unsegmented and it's very di difficult to differ differentiate and then comes under the cestodes here they are tape like segmented and having their proglottids dear viewers in this slide you can see the various protozoa that is present inside the intestines among them contains amoeba and ant amoeba giardia and sometimes other uh, flagellates uh, but uh, uh, there are other also fresh water protozoans also that can sometimes can be harmful but there are certain other uh, protozoa that are under sporozoa that comes their coccidia and 
sometimes Toxoplasma gondii and Neospora caninum. Here you can find also the protozoa that is present inside the blood or blood tissue uh, fluid. So there are Thileria, uh, there are Babesia, there are Tiprosomes and Plasmodium. They are very well known to you because most of them uh, peoples uh, and even animals and cattle they are infected by these parasites. This type of protozoa that are present in the urogenital systems they mostly infect to the male and females, even human beings and even some domestic animals and they cause sometimes abortion and infertility. Here in this slide you will see the Neospora caninum that sometimes that in uh, previous times or in previously it was thought about as a Toxoplasma gondii but now it is clear that is Neospora caninum it can be of zoonotic importance. Dear viewers, under the next class, uh, metazoans, here comes the helminths and as you know there are two types of helminths, nematy helminths where the nematode or roundworms are present, mostly they are present in the tissues and in the intestines and they have the migrating movement and the other one they are platy helminths, they are cystodes as you know they are segmented worms and trematodes. Uh, because they are also of two or three types, uh, trematodes, they are leaf-like structures mostly present in inside the liver, inside the blood and inside the rumen sometimes. So they are platy helminths, they are present inside the intestine as well as inside the tissues. There was under the third classification that is arthropods mostly that contain insects and arachnoids as you can see in this slide there are bugs and they are called triatomas and there are mosquitoes, there are ticks, there are fleas, lice and also flies and mites. They also cause various diseases as well as they cause as a zoonotic factor also for the dissemination of various diseases like viral bacterial, fungal and other protozoal diseases to their hosts. Dear viewers, thank you for attending these lectures and presentations. I hope you might have enjoyed a lot and there uh, are various learning things and that might be beneficial for you also.